Hi everyone, welcome back Silent Hunter 4 and USS Salmon um, Yes, after last week's heroics um, we've, uh, we've managed to sneak away from the rest of the escort ships and uh, we are conducting repairs on the damage we suffered from the depth charging um, when we attacked the task group last time Just for those of you who've got a short term memory or those of you who just want to relive it. Last time out, we sunk a fleet carrier, a Kagi class, for 37,080 tons. It was a, a great attack. The, um, the task group had a couple of battleships, some cruisers in it as well, and multiple uh, destroyers. But we targeted the main ship in the middle, which was the fleet carrier, a Kagi. We sunk her. Uh, we took a bit of damage as we were trying to get out of dodge, but. Um, yeah, overall, we got away, we survived, and um, yeah, we've got a little bit of damage. Here we go, we got the attack periscope hood, uh, or head, sorry, and the uh, 3 inch 50 cal um, cannon is also damaged, so um, they are under repair. And if we have a look at the torpedo tubes, we have uh, a number of torpedoes being reloaded now. So we've got plenty of torpedoes fore and aft, so we can continue to hunt in this vicinity. Um, Due to the pace that that task group was going, it's uh, unlikely that we'd be able to get ahead of them. They're actually that way behind us at the moment. So, um, yeah, it, it's going to be very, very challenging indeed to be able to catch up with them. And then set up another ambush will be um, very difficult indeed. So, we've, we've reported back in, uh, marked the contacts to the uh, high command, and uh, hopefully. Maybe another boat or aircraft can intercept the uh, the rest of that task group. Meantime, once we get co repairs complete, we will continue to hunt around here in the Salini Sea. Welcome back. Right, we've um, just been attacked by some Zeros. They've dropped some small bombs. Thankfully, they've missed us, but um, we took a little bit of damage from the uh, the strafing that we got as we were diving. Couldn't quite dive away quick enough, unfortunately. Um, so, as well as the um, the deck gun being damaged, the uh, the 50 cal anti aircraft machine gun has also been damaged, which is a bit of a pain. The good news is the periscope has been repaired but it looks like our actual um, guns are out of order both the deck gun and the anti-aircraft gun which is not great in fact um, when we get back to base we'll probably upgrade that just having one 50 cal machine gun is not really good enough in this day and age but um, anyway torpedoes have been loaded we've got eight forward tool firing and eight rearward firing ready to go so yeah um, if we get a chance we'll surface and get those repaired if possible uh, but yeah it's been a bit of a, a trial so far as we discussed uh, we sent the um, contact report for the um, task group which was sailing north um, and by doing so we also got ourselves some new orders um, we are to report and proceed directly to area E3 and stand by for further orders so to um, to follow that we've um, left where we sunk the cruiser Sorry, sent the carrier. We were hunting around here. We've, uh, we're headed south and we're going to come across here and up to E3. This is where the point where we will receive new orders. So we've got a bit of a sail on to get over there. Uh, the reason I'm doing quite a long one is I'm trying to stick to the deeper water. Uh, if we cut across here and that shallow water, and it, uh, well, it'd be quicker. If the aircraft come, then they should be able to probably see us in the shallow water when we dive. So um, it could be quite costly. So we're going to take a little bit more time and come down and go around in the deep waters so that is going to be our objective for the next however many hours it takes us to get around there probably a couple of days if not more so yeah that's 
that's what we'll do and if anything eventful happens along the way I'll bring you straight back of course Ship spotted 298, there she is. Ah, oh, it's a couple of uh, sampans or something like that. But uh, yeah, so eventually we've been able to surface finally. We've been under the sea for such a long time trying to. There's so many any aircraft around here patrolling, it's an absolute pain. But um, we managed to get up finally. And we've got a basic, well, very s small control over our uh, guns. So we could potentially go and engage those ships over there with the deck gun. Um, it would certainly at least tick a box um, to make sure that we have completed the order of seeking uh, merchant shipping in this area. So let's go and pick on those uh, sailing ships. Okay, we're closing in. Let's see, we're pulling up alongside these uh, ships now. It's like a sampan, probably going to be about eight tons, and it's probably a little fish, fishing vessel or something. But uh, unfortunately, the way the things are playing out, we do need to sink these to keep our tonnage up. So, man the deck gun, yes, battle stations. Alright, here we go. Swing the deck gun over. Can't get low enough on that one. Just blow it out of the water. Give them time to uh, jump ship. Deck gun ready, sir. Thank you. All right, couple of fires going now. Blow the stern off. One in the bow, burning away. Is she gone? Yeah, large sampan for uh, eighty tons. Nice. All right, swing the deck gun. Four for the uh, the second ship. Wherever that is, where's that gone? There it is. Oh, it's a little bit further away. We can probably use the uh, the sight for this one. Oh, we blew the sail off, the main sail off straight away. One more shot. No, I still haven't sunk it yet. Boom. The bow, the bow sprit's gone. One more. Oh, getting a bit close to use the sight now. Uh, still going, okay. Splash down just in front, but also continued on through the water, caused damage. I think that's probably her done. Yes! Confirmation. Yep, that's a junk for 80 tons. So that's, that's the same tonnage as the Sampan, which is just sunk over there. Brilliant, but there we go. Stand down from general quarters. Yes, sir. Big explosion underwater over there. And uh, there we've got the junk sinking and we've got the uh, the crew row up, rowing to safety. Good, so there you go. 60 tons sunk, we can um, yes, move on now. At least we've some, some, sunk something in this area, which has uh, completed that part of the um, the orders we've got, so uh, that's something. It's not much, but it's something.
done damage, sir. Okay, we've dived down, we've taken a bit of damage from some uh, enemy coastal guns. Uh, we didn't see them. We scattered them out, but uh, under the cover of darkness, we didn't see them, but they spotted us. Turn up a flare, and well, unfortunately, we just got clipped by one of their shells. Now, it struck the water first, and then, which took most of the pace off, but it has still caused us um, some damage. It's a 72% damage now. Um, the hull is looking pretty battered. We don't want to take it anywhere deep. The bow batteries have also been uh, damaged. Um, yeah, everything's damaged. Bow batteries and the bulkhead has also been damaged. Um, yeah, so that's not good. But this is all we can do really. Bulkheads have been worked on, then the batteries. Um, actually, can't work on the uh, the two guns while we're submerged. But we're going to try and get through this small this small. Um, bottleneck where the, the coast comes um, quite close uh, and if we can get on beyond that's where the, the enemy port is so we're hoping to pick up some cheap tonnage down in the port we will see Right, uh, we just, as you can see, it's very shallow here. Um, but we're coming in, daylight's coming up as well. Now, oh look, there's a tanker in that port and another ship beyond, which is nice. Now, you may think this looks fairly familiar. Maybe not, quite not, but over there, oh look, there's an aircraft carrier. This is where we sunk the heavy cruiser, if you recall. Uh, and we fired um, several torpedoes at that very aircraft carrier. But it's got protection of um, some sandbanks and some uh, anti-submarine netting. So we couldn't actually get torpedoes through to it. Um, so as tempting as that looks, we don't have much chance. But there is, ooh, it looks like that could be a destroyer up there. Maybe two destroyers. Another merchant ship or something. Ooh! Potentially another carrier over there. Oh, two aircraft carriers here. Oh, okay. Um, but we don't know what it's going to be like over there defences wise, but we do have an oil tanker sitting here. So let's see if we can finish her off first. Right, let's get prepared to loose the first torpedoes. Right, where is she? There she is. There she is. <laughs> couldn't, her camouflage is working well. I couldn't see her for the moment. Right, let's um, lock onto her and see what she is. Now, it's, it's quite difficult to sort of see what it is. Obviously, it's an oiler of some kind, but um, that actual camouflage against the cranes. Got a tall shoot there. Yeah, I think it might be a medium fleet oiler. There we go. Right. And that away, we can just do some calculations. Well, we can uh, set the range. There we go, set that into the computer. Um, we can say she's almost 90 degrees onto us. Well, it's just not actually. It's going to be a little bit like that. And speed is going to be zero. Right. Open tubes, probably two tubes. So one and two. Open. Tube two. Fire. Firing tube two. Tube one. Fire. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo 
Okay, two good hits and she is sinking. Um, I think two torpedoes might should be enough to sink her. Um, I think so. I'm I'm enticed by that um second carrier. Not that one. That one's protected. That one there. And oh, there's quite a few. Ju That's a big oil tanker uh, right there. I think. As the sun comes up, we're going to head this way and sort of engage these merchant ships and potentially that carrier. Um, open tube five. I'm just going to put another torpedo from the aft to torpedo tubes in there. See if we can um, finally finish her. she goes right get underway again um, confirmation a medium fleet oiler for 5165 tons sunk in port bit of a cheat but hey actually attacking ports is not a cheat you know it happened during the war I'm thinking of well the famous U-boat raid on Scapa flow sinking in sinking HMS Royal Oak so um yeah, it's, it's, it's a commendable achievement, not a sort of cheap and easy way of farming tonnage. Um, so you've got lots of uh, coastal guns, and so we're taking some damage. In fact, the, da the, the damage on our, on our port side is actually quite significant. We've had to close off one of the, um, the compartments because of the damage. Uh, we've got a couple of in front of the aircraft carrier. There's a couple of smaller vessels there. Could be fishing boats, but could be small armed um, trawlers. But yeah, it looks like two big oil tankers as well, plus another merchant ship, and uh, th that one looks like it's heading out to sea maybe. But uh, they're the ones we're definitely going to try and sink. Right, so let's have a look at this one then. Uh, again, this looks like another... It's not that kind of oiler. Uh, maybe that's kind of an oiler. A medium tanker. No, it's not actually. Looking at the, looking at the masts here, it's like these are, should be wider and maybe it could be that, but I'm thinking... That's a large modern tanker. That's what I'm going to go with. Right. Let's get the range set. It's really difficult with all the um, foliage behind the. Right. About there. Although tricky to see. Zero knots, of course. An angler bow. It's probably about that. Right, I'm just having a think. Let's have a. Um, what is the draft? 28 feet. What is this in feet? 20, 25, 30 feet. Right, yeah. So if we send one, I'm thinking we send mag some magnetic. Uh, shots, open tube one, towards her, uh, and that will hopefully finish her off quicker without um, using up so many torpedoes. So tube one, fire. You know what? I'll send tube three as well. I think we'll send. Um, well, that was a quite shallow as well. So tube three fire. Firing tube three. All right. Two more torpedoes on the route that way. That should start to turn. In the water. There she goes. Right. We could have a pop at this one. We've not got a bad angle. 
start trying to identify this one. Tube 2 hit. Tube 3. Or torpedo 3. That should be hopefully hitting further forward. Unless it's missed. Or it's a dud. It's, it should have hit here, but it's actually hit further back. Okay, three torpedo hits against that. I think that's probably just what they're going to be taking. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what this is. I'm struggling to, to identify here. Okay, I'm unable, unable to identify this. So we'll just pick something which is vaguely similar. Let's just pick that for the time being. Um, we'll look onto it. Uh, it could mean that our range is going to be off because um, well just the nature of it if we can't identify the ship we don't know oh we're almost 90 degrees smack on so it shouldn't make much of a difference right two four fire oh and there goes that oil tanker beautiful confirmation yes no hasn't sunk yet it's in the um, throes of dying, but it hasn't yet died. Torpedo on the way to this one. We could maybe get a sneaky shot at that from there. Or maybe we... Um... The carry behind it. Okay, apparently that hasn't sunk yet. That looks pretty sunk to me. Um, tube 1 is almost flooded. Right, what we're going to do is have to use the aft torpedo tubes now. I think we've got two more in the the, um, the front, so I'm going to start creeping forward. Uh, we may use another one on this ship, although I think she may be... Oh, if she's gone down a bit, I'm not sure. I was hopeful for... A, uh, a kill on the first torpedo because there was a big explosion but um, we don't seem to have been quite so fortunate unfortunately so uh, we may go we may sail past over there and then assess whether or not we can put some hits on the aircraft carrier which I've now lost sight of is it behind the tanker yes I can see the aircraft there next to that crane so she's behind the tanker um, and there actually may be another ship behind there, maybe another tanker, judging by that frame there. So, um, yeah, let's move around them, see if we can get into a better position. Okay, with that ship being conscious of our presence, let's open tube 5. And quick, sneaky, have a quick look. Where are we? There's the lighthouse. Where's the ship then? Oh, it's just right there. Okay. Oh, she's almost directly behind us. Sweet. All right, let's um, slow down then. We'll get a shot lined up. Right, so um, range I'm not sure on. Speed is going to be, well, she's going to be this side. Oh, we'll go around that way. She's probably almost 90 degrees on to us that way. She's about 180, so yeah, she should be about there. Speed we know is doing zero. Um, so in that case... Tube 5, fire. I can hear the siren going off. Oh, and she's dead. Confirmation. A fast hams of merchants, 7,000. Um, 590 tons. Makes me slightly annoyed that that still hasn't sunk yet. Maybe time will give it a bit more. But there we go, another one sunk. So we've got... Oh, something's firing straight over my head, aren't they? 
Yep. Okay. Trace is coming under the water. Right, there's um, a couple of ships here we need to manoeuvre um, for a better kill. We've got um, we'll have four torpedoes in the rear and two in the front torpedo tube. So maybe hmm, I want to get uh, have a look at this this aircraft carrier. Um, if not, we'll just oh, should we just sink the tankers? That could be the best move. Um, but yeah, what have we got from here? Uh, we can't quite tell. So we know we've got contact here. So that ship going back. Right, so there's a tanker there. She's firing us. There's the aircraft carrier. There's a tanker right at 180, right. And that was a big tanker as well. Um, not quite sure. They look bigger than the others, so we might have to put quite a few torpedoes into her, but it might be worth the score. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm slightly dubious whether or not we can get around to that. Um, whether or not we can get around to the aircraft carrier. Where the tank has gone. There you go. T three tanker. Mm, that's what it looked like, but I'm not sure if it is or not. Oh, we'll just lock that in for now anyway. Um Torpedo wise, well if we can fire well, maybe three torpedoes at it, that'll leave us three in the rear, two in the four. Then we can have a look at that aircraft carrier. So if we go on quite an extended range, because it shouldn't matter because she's not going anywhere. Um, she was oh, 180 and she was at an angle probably about there, wasn't she? Uh, she's doing zero knots. So the predicted course of the torpedo should be going through 180. Uh, maybe if we can adjust that slightly to hit the 180 on the mark. Um, so tube 7, flood. Tube 6, flood. Tube 8, flood. 7, if we send you there. Tube 6, let's send you there. And I'll send one dead down one 180. Fire. Hi everyone, right, we're creeping away forward, but you might be able to hear there is a distant ping of sonar. In front of us is some buildings. Um, there's the aircraft carrier at 45 degrees. There's a ship next to it. Maybe it's the carrier? Oh hell, did you just fire? Yes, you, okay, so this, this tanker here is active at 90 degrees as well. Let's see if we can get into a better position so we can uh, get some torpedoes away. Got two um, forward firing torpedoes which we'll use first and then we'll swing around and um, stick the rear to her and then finish her off with whatever we got left. I think we got three in the we got one loaded, one being loaded, and I think another one to go in. Yes, that's exactly right. So we've got five torpedoes left. We'll try and put them all into this carrier. Right, so let's go 45 degrees. Is she still there? 
45 degrees, yes, and we are still moving. Try and slow down a bit. Kaga class, could be that. Let's go with that. Right, where is she now? Is she at... That's not a great angle to fire at, but if we fire between 48 and... Yeah, it's not a great angle, but that's probably all we can get. Tube 1. Open. Tube 2 open. Okay, it's actually this destroyer next to it, I reckon, is pinging us desperately. Oh god, she's not starting to move, is she? Let's keep that low. Uh, two good hits, but terrible angle. Uh, so let's turn around and see if we can get the aft torpedoes pointing in her, uh, towards her in a better angle. So, confirmation then. Um, the European oiler for 10,000 tons has also sunk. Uh, no joy with the carriers yet. Obviously, only two torpedoes put into her. Let's have a quick look. So we turned around now. There she is. Uh, oh, oh, and she is low at the front. She is lower at the front. Do not want that destroyer. That they are probably. I'm not sure why they're not making steam. Maybe they're struggling to get some. Um, the the boilers fired up. Right, well, let's get her locked in. Can we lock on? No, we can't. Okay. Tubes um, five and six are ready. So we've got anywhere between angles uh, 174 to 166 and we want to get some shots to the rear as well. Uh, so if we again put a maximum range, um, she is now about there, zero knots. Look at the targeting computer. We know that she's between 166 and 174. So if we just use uh, so tube five is it open? Opening tube five, opening six, right five. Let's send you towards the back. Let's send you towards um, one six seven and a bit. Five fire, and then six will fire you there. And seven is being loaded. We might have a chance if we don't get a good shot. Uh, Disaster! The ship is drifting. Oh no, we've missed. Oh, that could be our chance to sink her. Tube seven is almost reloaded. Right, we're going to send her down, that down the middle. Uh, hopefully, three torpedoes will be enough. I don't think it will be. Ah oh, man, that's so disappointing. That's so disappointing. Right, we'll send it straight down. Uh, One seven two. Huge hit, huge hit with our last torpedo. Um, is that going to be enough? Oh, the destroyer is warming up. Right, let's move. Uh, time to get going. Time to get going. Uh, we've done all we can. We've used all our ordnance. We kind of screwed up that last two shots, or the, the penultimate two shots. Sorry, and. Um, we may live to regret that, but we, all we can do is uh, get on out of here with our lives and uh, head back to port to uh, get some much needed repairs done to our boat. Okay, we're heading out to the bay of the, um, where the port is. 
Um, we've got well, we've got, we got destroyers steaming into the into the bay. Um, right, should be behind us somewhere. Where's the land? Oh, there it is. It's over there somewhere. That's a seagull. Don't worry. Um, but as you can see, there's um, destroyers steaming in. They've got the call that um, attacking something is attacking the port. So they believe, obviously, a sub, which we are trying to get out of here. Um, but yeah, there's a number of um, destroyers driving their way as quickly as possible into that port. So we got out just at the right time. But as the USS Salmon makes her way home for much needed urgent repairs after quite considerable battering of her hull and uh, breached just below the deck gun. Uh, we're going to leave it there for this week. Thanks so, so much for watching. Take care and uh, hopefully we can get back to port and um, get a refit and a complete repair. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.